This is the end Beautiful friend This is the end My only friend The end Of our elaborate plans The end Of everything that stands The end No safety no surprise The end I'll never look into your
everyone gets everything he wants. I wanted a mission. And for my sins, they gave me one. Brought it up to me like room service. Captain Willard, are you in there? Yeah. It was a real choice mission. And when it was over, I'd never want another. Captain Willard, 505th Battalion, 173rd Airborne, yeah. signed SOG. We have orders to escort you to the airfield. What are the charges? Sir? What I did? There's no charges, Captain. You have orders to report to ComSec Intelligence, and I'll train. Right? And they're trying for me. That's right. Come on, Captain. You still have a few hours to get cleaned up. Oh, Captain? Dave, come here and give me a hand. We got a dead one. Come on, Captain. Let's take a shower. Let's get moving. Come We're on. gonna take a shower, Captain. Come on. Here we go. I was going to the worst place in the world, and I didn't even know it yet. Weeks away, and hundreds of miles up a river that snaked through the war like a main circuit cable, plugged straight into Kurtz. that I got to be the caretaker of Colonel Walter E. Kurtz's memory any more than being back in Saigon was an accident. There is no way to tell his story without telling my own. And if his story is really a confession, Captain Willard reporting, sir. then so is mine. Yeah. Good. Come on in. Thank you, sir. Stand at ease. Riders on the storm Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone And an actor out alone Riders on the storm Captain, you've heard of Colonel Walter E. Kurtz? Yes, sir, I've heard the name. Operations officer, Fifth Special Forces. Uh, Luke, would you play that tape with the captain, please? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Listen sir. Listen to this carefully, Captain. Yeah. Jack, over 9 0 4 30 hours, Sector Peter Victor King. This is a monitor out of Cambodia. This has been verified as Colonel Kurtz's voice. I watched a snail crawl along the edge of a straight razor. That's my dream. It's my nightmare. Crawling, slipping along the edge of a straight razor and surviving. December 30, 0500 hour, Sector King, Zulu King. But we must kill them. We must incinerate them. Pig after pig. Cow after cow. And they call me an assassin. What do you call it when the assassins accuse the assassin? They lie. They lie and we have to be merciful. For those who lie. When the music's over, those nabobs. <clears throat> I hate them. When the music's over, here. I do hate them. When the music's over, turn up the Oh.
Kurtz was one of the most outstanding officers this country's ever produced. He was brilliant. He was outstanding in every way. And he was a good man, too. A humanitarian man. Until the end Until the end I will choose Join the special forces. And after that is uh, ideas, methods. Became and sound. Cancel my subscription to the resurrection. Credentials to the house of detention. I got some friends inside. The face in the mirror won't stop. The girl in the window won't drop. Beast of friends, alive she cried, waiting for me outside. Now he's crossed into Cambodia with his mountaineer army of his that worship the man like a god and follow every order, however ridiculous. Before I sing into the big sleep, I want to hear, I want to hear the scream of the butterfly. Colonel Kurtz was about to be arrested for murder. I don't follow, sir. Murder, too. Kurtz had ordered the execution of some Vietnamese intelligence agents, men he believed were uh, double agents. So he took matters into his own hands. Come back, baby, back into my arms. We're getting tired of hanging around Waiting around with our heads to the ground I hear a very gentle sound Very near, yet very far 
very soft, yeah, very clear. Come today, come today. What have they done to the earth? What have they done to our fair sister? Ravaged and plundered and ripped her and bit her. Stuck her with knives in the side of the dawn and tied her with fences and dragged her down. I a very gentle sound. Well, you see, Willard, in this war, things get confused out there. With your ear down to the ground. But out there with these natives, it must be a temptation to be God. We want the world and we want it. We want the world and we want it. Yeah, temptation to. Now. Be God. has reached his and very obviously he has gone insane yes sir <clears throat> very much so sir obviously insane so when the music's over when the music Takes over yeah. When the music's over Turn out the lights Turn out the lights Turn out the lights What the music mission is to proceed up the Nung River in a Navy patrol boat. <clears throat> Pick up Colonel Kurtz's path at New Mung Ba. Follow it. Learn what you can along the way. When you find the colonel, infiltrate his team by <clears throat> whatever means available. And terminate the colonel's command. Terminate the colonel. He's out there operating without any decent restraint totally beyond the pale of any acceptable human conduct. And he is still in the field commanding troops. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Nice. 
First, I thought they handed me the wrong dossier. I couldn't believe they wanted this man dead. Third generation West Point, top of his class, Korea, airborne, about a thousand decorations, etc., etc. I'd heard his voice on the tape, and it really put the hook in me. But I couldn't connect up that voice with this man. They said he had an impressive career. Maybe too impressive. I mean, perfect. He was being groomed for one of the top slots in the corporation. General, chief of staff, anything. In 1964, he returned from a tour with advisory command in Vietnam and things started to slip. His report to the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Lyndon Johnson was restricted. They didn't dig what he had to tell them. ferried down the coast in a Navy PBR, a type of plastic patrol boat, pretty common sight on the rivers. They said it was a good way to pick up information and move without drawing a lot of attention. And that was okay. I needed the air and the time.
afraid that both you and your mother will have been worried at not hearing from me during the past weeks. But my situation here has become a difficult one. I have been officially accused of murder by the army. The alleged victims were four Vietnamese double agents. We spent months uncovering them and accumulating evidence. When absolute proof was completed, we acted. We acted like soldiers. The charges are unjustified. They are, in fact, and in the circumstances of this conflict, quite completely insane. In a war, there are many moments for compassion and tender action. There are many moments for ruthless action, what is often called ruthless, what may in many circumstances be only clarity, seeing clearly what there is to be done and doing it, directly, quickly, awake, looking at it. I would trust you to tell your mother what you choose about this letter. As for the charges against me, I am unconcerned. I am beyond on their timid, lying morality, and so I am beyond caring. Medivac, do you read? Over. You have all my faith. Your loving father. You know the day destroys the night. Night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side, yeah. We chased our pleasures here. Dug our treasures there. But can't you still recall the time we cried? Break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Set 
October 1967, on special assignment, Kanjum Province 2 Corps. Kurt staged Operation Archangel with combined local forces. Rated a major success. He received no official clearance. He just thought it up and did it. What balls. They were going to nail his ass to the floorboards for that one. But after the press got a hold of it, they promoted him to full colonel instead. Late summer, autumn, 1968. Kurtz's patrols in the highlands coming under frequent ambush. The camp started falling apart. November. Kurtz orders assassination of three Vietnamese men and one woman. Two of the men were colonels in the South Vietnamese Army. Enemy activity in his old sector dropped off to nothing. Guess he must have hit the right four people. The Army tried one last time to bring him back into the fold. And if he pulled over, it all would have been forgotten. But he kept going. And he kept winning it his way. And they called me in. Every order, however ridiculous. They lost him. He was gone. crew were mostly just kids, rock and rollers with one foot in their graves. How old are you? Seventeen. The machinist, the one they called Chef, was from New Orleans. He was wrapped too tight for Vietnam. Probably wrapped too tight for New Orleans. Lance on the forward fifties was a famous surfer from the beaches south of L.A. To look at him, you wouldn't believe he'd ever fired a weapon in his life. Clean, Mr. Clean was from some South Bronx shithole, and I think the light and the space of Vietnam really put the zap on his head. Then there was Phillips, the chief. It might have been my mission, but it sure as shit was the chief's boat. There's about two points where we can draw enough water to get into the Nong River. They're both hot, along the Charlie. Don't worry about it. You know, I pulled a few special ops in here. About six months ago, I took a man who was going up past the bridge at Do Long. He was regular army too. I heard he shot himself in the head. It was the greatest night of my life. Although I still had not found a wife, I had my friends right there beside me. We were close together. We tripped the wall, we scaled the graveyard. Ancient shapes were all around us. The wet dew felt fresh beside the fog. Two made love in an ancient spot. One chased a rabbit into the dark. A girl got drunk and bawled the dead, and I gave empty sermons to my head. Cemetery, cool and quiet, hate to leave your sacred lay, dread the milky coming of the day. Kurtz got off the boat. He split from the whole program. 
How did that happen? What did he see here, that first tour? 38 years old. If you joined the Green Berets, there was no way you'd ever get above Colonel. Kurtz knew what he was giving up. And the more I read and began to understand, the more I admired him. His family and friends couldn't understand it, and they couldn't talk him out of it. He had to apply three times, and he put up with a ton of shit, but when he threatened to resign, they gave it to him. The next youngest guy in his class was half his age. They must have thought he was some far out old man humping it over that course. I did it when I was 19, it damn near wasted me. He finished it. He could have gone for general, but he went for himself instead. Thank you. 
that. Arc light. B-52 strike. Yeah. What's that? Arc light. I hate that. Every time I hear that, something terrible happens. Jolly don't never see him or hear him, man. There they are. Concussion will suck the air out of your damn lungs. Something terrible is gonna happen. Smoke! Secondary burning. Hueys over there. Lots of Hueys. Let's have a look, Chief. It was the air cab. First of the night. That's them. Our escorts to the mouth of the Nung River. But they were supposed to be waiting for us another 30 kilometers ahead. Well, Air Mobile. Those boys just couldn't stay put. First to the ninth was an old cavalry division that cashed in its horses for choppers and gone terrassing around Nam looking for the ship. They'd given Charlie a few surprises in their time here. What they were mopping up now hadn't even happened yet an hour ago.
Eagle thrust seven. We've got it spotted. Big Duke 16 Eagle thrust. Put on heading 270. Assume attack formation. That's a roger, Big Duke. Okay, we're going in. Right. We'll come in low out of the rising sun. And about a mile out, we'll put on the music. Big. Yeah, use bug. Scared the hell out of the slopes. My boys love it. Nothing has 
I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know, one time we had a hail bomb. For 12 hours, when it was all over, I walked up. We didn't find one of them, not one stinking dink body. The smell! You know, that gasoline smell! The whole hill! It smells like... Someday this war is going to end. I keep your eyes on the road, you hands upon the wheel. Keep your eyes on the road, you hands upon the wheel. Yeah, we're going to the roadhouse, it's going to have a real a good time. That is true. Oh. Hey, cool. Him! Yeah, come on. Colonel Kurtz. These are all his children, man, as far as you can see. Hell, man, out here, we're all his children.
You listen to him. Uh, the man's enlarged my mind. Uh, uh, he's a poet, warrior in the, in the classic sense. Uh, I mean, sometimes he'll, uh, well, you say hello to him, right? And uh, he'll just walk right by you and uh, he won't even notice you. And then some, suddenly he'll grab you and he'll, he'll throw you in a corner and he'll say, do you know that if is the middle word in life? If you can keep your head when all about you're losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you. I mean, I'm no, I, I can't, I'm a little man. I'm a little man. He's, he's a great man. Uh, uh, I should have been a pair of ragged claws uh, scuttling across floors of silent seas. I mean, uh, Stay with the boat. Uh, hey, don't go any, hey, don't go without me, okay? <laughs> I want to get a picture. You know, I eat all pork and beans. I eat more chicken than a man ever seen. see him yet but I could feel him as if the boat were being sucked up river and the water was flowing back into the jungle whatever was going to happen it wasn't going to be the way they call it back in the train strange days have found us strange days have tried something man i know something that you don't know that's right jack the man is clear in his mind but his soul is mad
They say why? Well, it why they wanted to terminate my command. They told me that you had gone totally insane and uh, that your methods were unsound. Are my methods unsound? I don't see any method at all. I expected someone like you. What did you expect? Are you an assassin? I'm a soldier. You're neither. You're an errand boy. Sent by grocery clerks. To collect a bill. Well, show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Oh, don't ask why. Oh, don't ask why. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Die. I tell you we must die I tell you, I tell you, I tell you we must die Who 
do not know what horror means. Horror. Horror has a face. And you must make a friend of horror. Horror and moral terror are your friends. If they are not, then they are enemies to be feared. They are truly enemies. I remember when I was with special forces, it seems a thousand centuries ago, We went into a camp to inoculate some children. We left the camp after we had inoculated the children for polio. And this old man came running after us and he was crying. He couldn't say. We went back there and they had come and hacked off every inoculated arm. There they were in a pile, a pile of little arms. And I remember, I, I, I cried, I wept like some grandmother. I wanted to tear my teeth out. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I want to remember it. I never want to forget it. I never want to forget. And then I realized, like I was shot, like I was shot with a diamond, a diamond bullet right through my forehead. And I thought, my God, the genius of that. The genius, the will to do that. Perfect, genuine, complete, crystalline, pure. And then I realized they were stronger than me because they could stand it. These were not monsters. These were men, trained cadres. These men who fought with their hearts, who have families, who have children who are filled with love, but they have the strength, the strength to do that. If I had 10 divisions of those men, then our troubles here would be over very quickly. You have to have men who are more, and at the same time, were able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling, without passion, without judgment, without judgment. Because it's judgment that defeats us. On the river, I thought that the minute I looked at him, I'd know what to do. But it didn't happen. I was in there with him for days, not under guard. I was free. But he knew I wasn't going anywhere. He knew more about what I was going to do than I did. If the generals back in the train could see what I saw, would they still want me to kill him? More than ever, probably. And what would his people back home want if they ever learned just how far from them he'd really gone? He broke from them, and then he broke from himself. I'd never seen a man so broken up and ripped apart.
horrors, horrors that you've seen. But you have no right to call me a murderer. You have a right to kill me. You have a right to do that. But you have no right to judge me. I'm a spy. Understand me, will it? You will do this for me. DBR Street Gang, this is Almighty. Standing by, over. DBR Street Gang, this is Almighty. Standing by, how do you copy? They were going to make me a major for this. And I wasn't even in their army anymore. Everybody wanted me to do it. Him most of all. I felt like he was up there, waiting for me to take the pain away. He just wanted to go out like a soldier, standing up. Not like some poor, wasted, rag-assed renegade. Even the jungle wanted him dead. And that's who he really took his orders from anyway. Take a chance with us 
Come on, baby, take a chance with us. Come on, baby, take a chance with us and meet me at the back of the blue bus. Do not blue rock on that blue bus. Do not do that. Come on, See you. 